Hi brothers and sisters in Christ. This is the second video I am uploading today. Um, this video was, or this video, <laughs> this word was received yesterday, April 1st, 2019, um, which was my Sabbath day, um, my day that is set apart for the Lord, and um, a day that I regularly fast, um, which is off topic, but um, it, I I never used to uh, set a day aside for the Lord because I thought I serve Him every day, I worship Him every day, so that's my Sabbath. But it turns out that um, back in February, the Lord put it in my heart after speaking to another sister in Christ that I needed to take one day a week where I fasted and dedicated that day to Him and just seeking Him and not doing things for anyone else but Him. So when I was having a conversation with this particular sister, I said, well, what do I do? Just pick a random day every week and do that, do my fast on that day. And right then the Lord said, Mondays. So Mondays are my fast days. They're my Sabbath days. So with that being said, this is the word that was given to me yesterday on my Sabbath day. <laughs> he said, the hour indeed is late and most are still playing games with their souls. They don't know that soon my judgments will pour out on them, that soon this world will plunge into total and utter darkness, followed by chaos. Many are not ready for this to come upon you. I know the hearts of man. They are evil and wicked before me. The imagination of man is filled with much darkness that he thinks only he knows. But I tell you, I hear every idle word every thought that enters in, and I will judge these thoughts and words just as violently as I will judge the deeds and behaviors of man. Soon the shaking will begin, chaos will abound, and the man of sin will arise. This is when my children must be hid in me. They will, they will need to hear my voice in the days ahead. I will give direction to my children those who are listening to and for me. Those who cannot hear me will not receive of me because the noise of the chaos will drown my voice out. It is imperative that you get into the secret place, that you seek me and remain hidden in the days ahead. And then, um, I don't know if you guys have heard about this. This is something that was shown to me yesterday. This Saturday, April 6, 2019, Barack Obama is giving some kind of speech, some event in Berlin, and I was drawn to look up where he was going, and the place he's going is called the Seat of Satan, and I really urge you to do some research on the Seat of Satan. It's Seat, S-E-A-T, Seat of Satan. I did some research on this and I found out that this was the this was the place where Hitler reigned during the Holocaust. It was where he did nightly events with light shows and things like that to draw people in. And um, some of the people that they had interviewed back then said that he had like this mysterious kind of presence upon him as he was speaking and that that he presented himself as a messiah type of um, entity while he was there and so fast forwarding this seat of Satan was in Germany after Hitler died it wasn't used the facility wasn't used at all and someone came along and they moved this seat they moved this whole facility to Berlin. And um, from what I've seen, Barack Obama has attended this seat of Satan nine times. And I think Saturday will be the tenth time that he's going to this seat. So I was asking the Lord for confirmation on this because there are, there are scriptures. I'm going to put some scriptures in the description box that go along with the things that the Lord was showing me. But I... If you go to, I think it's Revelation 2.13, Jesus says he specifically knows where the seat of Satan is. So I was asking the Lord, like, does he have a throne here? 
So um, I'm going to go back to the word to finish what the word says, but I, I wanted to say that to you in case you want to look up what this seat of Satan is and, and um, what they do at this facility. The enemy has a throne, just as I have a throne. He mocks and mimics everything that I am because he thinks he is God. But I tell you, his reign will be short. I will allow him his time to rule on this earth. Then I will silence him to the lake of fire for deceiving my children. I will have no pity on him, and neither will my army when it rises. Swift and total destruction comes to a wicked and evil generation. My hand has been extended for far too long now. Mankind is evil. His thoughts are always evil. His ways evil, and his intentions always evil. I will not strive with man forever. His days to reign are numbered. When he's accomplished these days, they are turned over to his adversary to make war with the saints. And I want to clarify that. When Adam and Eve were put into the garden, they were given the authority over the garden. But when Adam and Eve sinned, that authority then was transferred over to Satan, and he was able to have rule of the garden. There's coming a day where Adam will no longer have rule, and Satan will be able to take the reins of what he earned in the garden by deceiving Eve. So that's what he's talking about. These days for man to rule, once they're accomplished, it's going to be turned over to the devil. And he's going to be able to do what he wants with God's people and with God's earth as much as God allows him. Going back to the word now. When he takes over them, I will release him into the fire where the worm and the canker worm dieth not. I will deal with him swiftly and harshly for what he has done to my creation. No one will destroy this world, for I alone have the power to give and take life. A new heaven and earth await my children, and those who love me will sit beside me. Time is rapidly approaching for these events to begin. Make way for your king, daughter, for he comes to you soon. Your Lord and Savior, Yahushua. So, um... Pretty, um, there seems to be a theme of the words that I'm getting from the Lord lately, and it has to be, it has to do with the darkness that's coming on the land, spiritual darkness, physical darkness, and also, um, judgment on a wicked and adulterous generation. So, we need to be praying for our brothers and sisters. I see so many videos out there of people trying to promote um, escaping and being raptured and going to the Lord and I'm just going to be honest when I say these videos are selfish. Selfish. Because people are going to die soon. God is about to judge this world. There are people that are going to be ready to return to Him. And He's not going to take away the people that can help them find their way home. Those who are ready and willing to go out and work this harvest, who are ready and willing to lay down their lives for him, will go out into the fields when these things begin, and they will help his children find their way home. There's no escaping and just leaving here and going home while the rest of the world's in turmoil. What will you offer the Lord when you stand before him? What have you done? What talents have you multiplied to bring to him? We are supposed to be taking what we've been given and multiply it. We're not supposed to hide everything we've been given. The keys that we've been given for freedom, we need to take those keys and we need to unlock other people's cells and free them. And like I heard on a, a video of another brother in Christ the other day, he said, if you're going, if it's the last game, of the year you're not going to send in your JV team to clinch that game you're going to send in your varsity team to clinch that game and that's the same thing that God's going to do his varsity team is going to be sent in to reap this harvest and if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you are emptied of yourself and be if you're able to be used by the Lord he's not going to send you someplace else he's going to use you to reap this harvest and bring in this harvest 
So you're not you're not just going to leave and go home and leave everybody else here to face the consequences of what's coming. As a world, as a people, as a nation, we've sinned against the Lord. And there are consequences to that sin. And there are, are things that's going to happen to judge people and bring them closer to the Lord. Or judge people and condemn them to a life um, eternally separated from God. So we need to be praying about the people that are on YouTube today. You need to be praying about who you listen to and what these doctrines are. Because there's a lot of false prophets on the internet right now. There's a lot of people talking about things that are not biblical and they're not true. Um, if you get your information from the Lord, you'll know exactly... Who's going to escape? How they're going to escape? Because it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to escape things by not being on the earth. There are certain groups of people that will escape the wrath coming because they will be operating in supernatural powers to help those who are not ready to come in. I have my own thoughts about children and um, maybe some people that can't fend for themselves. I do think the Lord will have mercy on them. But um, I don't want to get too much into this because I am not called to be a teacher. And I don't go to man to get my teachings. I go to the Lord to get my teachings. And some of the stuff that I have been shown and taught the average person is not ready to receive. So I don't want to say something and give something to you guys that will cause you to stumble and fall or cause a baby Christian to choke. Because I do have people on my channel that have recently come to the Lord and the Lord reminded me that I need to be careful with what I share and how I share things. This channel is giving meat to a lot of people to a certain group of people that have an assignment that's coming, but there are also people that come to this channel that um, have not been given this instruction yet, and I have to be careful what I say and how I say it. The best thing that I can say to you is, God knows what's gonna happen in these days ahead, and regardless of where you are when these things begin to take place, you need to be right with Him. You need to be found in the Lord. You need to be underneath His wings. You need to hear His voice. You need to be so close to him that you're breathing as one. And if you're not doing that, then it's a scary place for you to be when the earth begins to shake or when this darkness comes. So it's important for each person that professes to know Jesus to seek him and get your wisdom, your teaching, and your comfort from him. God cannot deceive himself. The Holy Spirit will not deceive himself. When you get your teaching from the Holy Spirit, you know that you know that you know it came from God. And that's where I am with the things that I've been shown. Do I have everything? Do I have all the pieces? I don't. But what I am confident in, I'm confident in it because the Lord has shown me. So, um, just seek the Lord for the the depths of what's coming. He'll give you what you're ready to handle because not everybody's ready to handle everything that's coming. And I know there's things that I have not been shown and not been given yet because I myself am not ready for it. So on that note, I'm going to end my video because it takes too long to upload them if they start getting too long. So God bless you all. Please seek the Lord. He loves you so much and he wants to prepare you for the days ahead. But if you don't sit at his feet, you're not going to get instruction. You're not going to know what to do. So please seek him. He loves you. He wants you to come to him today. All right. God bless you, brothers and sisters.